We present Primary Mathematics for Standard 6 Pupils. In our program today, we are going to learn about the least common multiple and the greatest common divisor. Welcome to the program. Hello Standard 6 pupils. Today we will learn about the least common multiples, that is LCM, and the greatest common divisors, that is GCD, in real life situations. With me in the studio are two Standard 6 pupils, Mark and Rose. Mark and Rose say hello to Standard 6 pupils. Hello, Hello standard, standard 6 pupils. In standard 5, we learnt about multiples and divisors of numbers. Class, what are multiples and divisors of numbers? Give the answer to your teacher. Mark, what is a multiple of a number? A multiple of a number is a number obtained when two numbers are multiplied together. For example, 3 multiplied by 8 is equal to 24. 24 is a multiple of 8. That is very good, Mark. Class, did you say a multiple of a number is a number obtained by multiplying two numbers? Good. Rose, what is a divisor of a number? A divisor of a number is a number that divides the given number without a remainder. For example, 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. 8 is a divisor of 24. That is very good, Rose. Class, did you say a divisor is a number that divides a given number without a remainder? Good. Class, what is meant by LCM and GCD? Give the answer to your teacher. Rose, what does the term LCM mean? The term LCM means the least common multiple. That is the smallest number that can be divided by a given set of numbers without a remainder. That is correct, Rose. Mark, what does the term GCD mean? GCD means the greatest common divisor to a given set of numbers. This is the greatest number that can divide a set of numbers without a remainder. That is very good, Mark. Class, did you give your teacher the correct answers? Good. LCM is the smallest number that can be divided by a given set of numbers, while GCD is the biggest number that can divide a given set of numbers. Class, we are now going to work out questions by the use of LCM and GCD. Teacher, write the following question on the chalkboard. Bell A rings after 4 minutes and bell B rings after 5 minutes. If the bells ring together now, after how long will they ring together again? Class, work out the question and give the answer to your teacher. Rose, if bell A rings after four minutes, 
When will it ring again? Bell A will ring after 4 minutes, 8 minutes, 12 minutes, 16 minutes, 20 minutes, 24 minutes, and so on. That is well answered, Rose. Bell A will ring after 4 minutes, 8 minutes, 12 minutes, 16 minutes, 20 minutes, 24 minutes, and so on. Mark, if bell B rings after 5 minutes, when else will it ring again? Bell B will ring again after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and so on. That is very good, Mark. Bell B will ring after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and so on. Rose, after how long would the two bells ring together? 20 minutes appears in both times of bell A and bell B. This means that the two bells will ring together after 20 minutes. Very good, Rose. Class, did you get your answer as 20 minutes? Good. The two bells will ring together after 20 minutes. Mark, what do we call the numbers 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24. The numbers 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24 are called multiples of 4. That is very good, Mark. The numbers 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24 are called multiples of 4. Rose, what is it you want to say? Teacher, I have also noted that the numbers 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 are the multiples of 5. That is very correct, Rose. The numbers 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25 are called multiples of 5. Mark, considering 5 and 4 and their multiples, what do we call 20? The number 20 is called the LCM of 4 and 5. Good, Mark. The number 20 is the LCM of 4 and 5. Class, to obtain the length of time the bells will ring again together, we should determine the LCM of 4 and 5. We note that the two bells will ring again after 20 minutes. Class, what is the shortest possible length of tiba which can be cut from equal pieces measuring 20 centimeters and 36 centimeters? Give the answer to your teacher. Rose, what is your answer? The shortest length of timber from which equal pieces can be cut is the least common multiple of 20 centimeters and 36 centimeters. The LCM of 20 and 36 is 180. So, the smallest or the shortest piece of timber must be 180 centimeters. That is very good, Rose. Class, did you get the shortest length of timber as 180 centimeters? 
good. The shortest length of tiba is the LCM of 20 centimeters and 36 centimeters, which is equal to 180 centimeters. Class, let us now look at another question. If a music club meets after every two weeks, a maths club after every three weeks, and a wildlife club after every four weeks, and all the three clubs met on the first week of the term, after how many weeks will they meet again together? Give the answer to your teacher. Mark, on which week will the three clubs meet again together? The LCM of two weeks, three weeks and four weeks, is 12 weeks. This means that the three clubs will meet again together after 12 weeks. That is very good, Mark. Class, did you get the answer as 12 weeks? Good. The clubs will meet again together after 12 weeks. The LCM of 2, 3 and 4 is 12. Class, two pieces of materials of length 12 meters and 18 meters are to be subdivided equally into smaller pieces. What is the greatest length of material which can be obtained from both pieces of the materials? Work out the question and give the answer to your teacher. Ross, what length of cloth materials can be cut from a 12-meter material? From 12 meters, we cut materials of length 1 meter, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters, 6 meters, or the whole 12 meters. That is very good, Ross. From a 12-meter material, we can cut a 1 meter 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 6 meter, and 12 meter length of materials. Mark, what do we call the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12? The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are called divisors or factors of 12. That is a very good answer, Mark. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are all divisors of 12. From an 18 meter cloth material, we can cut pieces of 1 meter, 2 meters, 3 meters, 6 meters, 9 meters, and 18 meters length of materials. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18 are all divisors of 18. Rose, which is the greatest length of cloth material? That can be cut from a 12 meters and an 18 meters cloth material. The greatest length of cloth material which can be cut from a 12 meter cloth material 
and an 18 meter cloth material is 6 meter cloth material that is very good rose class did you give the greatest piece of cloth material cut from a 12 meter and an 18 meter cloth material is 6 meters good mark what is the name given to 6 in relation to 12 and 18 6 can divide both 12 and 18 6 is a divisor of 12 and 18 that is good mark 6 is a divisor of both 12 and 18 rose do you have something to say yes teacher other than 6 the divisors 1 2 and 3 can divide 12 and 18 why do we pick the divisor 6 and not any of the other divisors that is a very good question rose the divisor 6 is the greatest common divisor of 12 and 18 the greatest piece of cloth material that can be cut from both a 12 meter and an 18 meter cloth material is the gcd of 12 and 18 which is 6 meters class let us now look at another question two containers have the capacity and 15 liters what is the largest container that can be used to fill each of the two containers exactly give the answer to your teacher Mark, what is the greatest container which can be used to exactly fill a 15 liter and a 12 liter container? The greatest container which can be used to fill a 12 liter and a 15 liter container is a GCD of 12 and 15. The GCD of 12 and 15 is 3. Therefore, the greatest container to fill a 12 liter and 15 liter container is a 3 liter container. That is very good, Mark. Class, did you give the answer as a 3 liter container? Good. The greatest container that can be used to fill a 12 liter and a 15 liter container has the capacity of three liters class when the words greatest maximum and highest are used we get the gcd of the numbers and when the words shortest smallest and least are used we should look for the least common multiple of the numbers and that brings us to the end of the program we